Okay, so this is kind of day three. Uh, I've got it actually, I call it wheels up. In the car industry, you'd call it rolling chassis. Uh, I'm ready for the wheels. I, I have those on order. I'm going to go with a black spoke uh, matte wheel. And uh, the original ones I tried out didn't work. The uh, scrub radius was way off, and uh, there's no way I would have made them work properly. So I scrapped those, and I'm going to go with the standard uh, 15 by 6 and a half inch rims and uh, 40 degree or 40 millimeter offset, which would give me a scrub of about 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, the other wheels would have given me about a 3 inch scrub, which would never work. So she's all put together. The brakes are all uh, bled out and everything. And uh, once I get the tires on here, I can take this thing out for a drive. I pull the kickstand off. I'm going to relocate the radiator to the front. And uh, I actually bought another Brembo for parts because I want the batteries. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to take the same batteries that are in here and mount them up in front and uh, hook them in parallel with these. So I'll actually double, uh, I'll go to, I believe it'll be uh, 20.8 kilowatt hours. It's 10.4 right now. So that should give me a range of over 100 miles highway or better, depending on how I drive. And uh, city, I could get as much as 200. I think that's uh, more than enough to prove the point. Uh, this is a prototype. This isn't just a conversion. This is a prototype model. I'm just using uh, existing technology uh, instead of building my own frame completely and everything. I'm using uh, the Brambo as a base. But my patent actually covers uh, an entire motorcycle with the battery layout and everything as I'm going to have in here. And a similar motor design, although there's an option for three wheel motors. And uh, the patent actually gets kind of involved. But uh, right now I have it patented, or patent pending. Um, I do have it uh, trademark, copyrights, all that stuff. So the IP is actually in place right now, so I can go ahead and talk about this thing. As, as we go along here, there's a lot of stuff I'm not going to talk about. Um, I did put risers on the handlebars, so it's uh, about a three inch rise. It seems much more comfortable. Uh, as you can see here, I replaced the, uh, the forks with, with chrome tubes. I got to put caps on them, but that's what actually drives the steering shaft. And that's this is a pretty standard setup. Uh, there is some uh, gimmickry that I use that nobody else has figured out. Uh, so those are some of the things I won't talk about, but I'll simply say that my trikes do handle better than anybody else's. Um, other than that, it, it really is quite a comfortable machine. Uh, as you can see, the power cables here are quite large. I don't know if that's a 2 watt wire or what that is, but it's uh, she's plenty hefty. Uh, the motor, I guess, draws about 270 amps max. And the fusing on here is 300 amps, so a lot of power goes through here. Uh, racing and everything worked out really good. Uh, right now, I have to say everything is going better than planned. Uh, as soon as the wheels are in, this thing will be ready for a test drive. And uh, after that, I'll start designing body panels. I've got some ideas on that. I'm going to change the color. Um, the company colors are actually red, like the shock spring here and the calipers. Um, I'm going to see how much paint we have. We've got lots and lots of paint left over from other projects. And uh, it's going to be some kind of red. Uh, it might be just bright red. It might be an orange red. Uh, I'll just have to see what we have and what I like. Uh, this yellow on the seat, I'm actually going to black that out. Uh, although I think my saddlebags, I'm going to build the saddlebags uh, to hang down here with a brace behind them so they don't swing in. And that'll cover this actually. And then I'm going to put a rack on the top here so I can uh, carry my drones and whatever I want to haul around with it. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy the way it's going. I've really got maybe two full days in it so far. So, uh, it really helps to have done, you know, a lot of these. I've been doing, uh, well, this year I think I'll do 18 conversions. So 
you know, the technology is well proven. Uh, the reverse track system, which is the modular, modular setup, I've been doing that uh, R&D and on for 12 years, so pretty much got her zeroed in. So anyway, we'll keep you up to speed on what's going on next. Uh, I guess the next big project is to move the radiator, throw the wheels on, and start working on body skins. I've got a trike conversion I'm doing over here. So that one I work on full time. This is a Saturday project, and uh, I've got two other victories I have to get done. And then I'm off for the summer, so then I can focus on finishing up this bike and some more R&D on it, and try to figure out how to get the maximum uh, distance out of it. And I've got a Victory Vegas that I'm going to convert for myself uh, because you can never have enough motorcycles. I think I'm up to five now, so probably need more. So that's the scoop for today.